Okay, in section four, we're going to talk about reporting. In this section, we're going to talk about versions and releases. We're going to talk about the burndown report, the sprint report, the velocity chart, release and epic burndowns, and the version and epic reports. Let's start with versions and releases. So we're going to learn about what are versions and what are releases and how they interact with one another. We're going to talk about how to create and manage those versions, assigning work to versions, how to do a release. And then finally, how to view the contents of a release once you've done it. When you're talking about versions and releases, so versions come from the concept of software. So we're all familiar with major and minor versions of a software, right? So version 2.0 versus version 2.1, they really represent a large amount of value, right? So that's a, a way to think about it. So a version represents a chunk of value that's being deployed or released. Versions can be released, so once you've determined what's in a version and you complete that version, then you can release it. Then basically the version becomes a release, so they're, they're the same thing, it's just one is pre-deployment and one's post-deployment. And once a version's been released, we can view the contents of that as release notes. So we'll take a look at that too. So let's hop over to Jira, and we will take a look at our second project here. So. Here's the backlog. You guys probably remember this from uh, previously. Here you can see we have versions, all right? So we can actually take a look at this version. This is where all of our versions would be stored. Now we mentioned before that a version is a release before it's been released. They're the same thing, right? So let's go into releases here and we'll take a look at this screen. So you can see here's the version, here's a start date, here's the release date, and here's a description. So we can make a version and we'll call it test version. Our start date is release date is are optional. But let's go ahead and make this test version. All right, so we'll click add here. And you'll see now that we have the option to look at released versions, unreleased versions, and archived versions. Now we have this test version, and we can create another one here. See, we have the ability here to release, etc. So if we go back to our backlog, we can see that if we click out this versions tab, we actually have this test version here underneath this now. All right, in here you can see the number of issues, completed, unestimated, estimated, and status bar. So we can actually take this story and we can drag it in, and we can also take this story and we can drag it in. And you can see now that these are part of this test version. Now, if we go under releases again, we can now take a look at this version and we can see there's two issues in there, right? The, one, the two that we added, uh, zero done, zero in progress, two to do. And once we're done with this, we can actually hit release here and release this item. Okay, so why don't we go back to the backlog? We'll put these other three versions in here, or these other, sorry, these other stories, put them into this version. Okay, so now we have five issues. We'll go back to this release, and then we'll go ahead and release our version. All right, so now you can see. We've released these items. You can see here this item's in progress. These are to-do. If we go to our release notes, then we can see here what was contained within our version.